When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. It may be winter, but it's never too early to start thinking about spring. Start your New Year sharp and trust Kurt's Meal to power wash your home. Fair prices, superior quality, and exceptional customer service. Schedule your spring special appointment today. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code Summit City for 15% off today. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, 
the University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School basketball fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you from the Carroll Fieldhouse. Tremendous matchup we have, and the conference title is on the line between these two rivals. Seven and one, Carroll Chargers hosting the six and two Homestead Spartans. If Carroll wins, they will take the title. But now, let's head it out to the PA announcer for our national anthem. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What an outstanding rendition of the Star Spangled Banner from a Carroll High School student. Tremendous stuff here at Carroll High School in the field house. The rivalry is on. It is on and popping here at the field house. Tremendous environment. This place is absolutely packed. People everywhere here. At the field house, big shout out athletic director Dan Gendero is an outstanding host here at Summit City Sports for SummitCitySports.com. Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Where else would you want to be besides the Carroll Chargers? As they'll go through the starting lineups right now, starting with Homestead. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, SummitCitySports.com. Joe Hacker on the camera. Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Tremendous atmosphere on display right now. If Carroll takes this win here against their rival Homestead, they win the conference title. We have three, two other scenarios. If Homestead wins, Northrop has to get beat by Dwanger. Then it's a three-way tie between Carroll, Homestead, and Northrop. 
or if Northrop wins and Carroll loses, Northrop wins it outright, but we are set. Eight minutes on the clock. SummitCitySports.com, David Esha on the jump with number 22, Alec Grinsfielder for Homestead. Esha comes to Shear, and we are on SummitCitySports.com. This is Indiana High School basketball. We do play four eight-minute quarters here in the state. No shot clock, of course, as we go man-to-man -man for Sparty to open up the contest. Homestead in the blue, Carroll in the white as the turnover to start it. Kruger goes Grinsfielder, use of the pivot. Man-to-man -man defense for Carroll to start. Now Loomis. Yeah, we'll have it on. 7.08 left in this first quarter. Grinsfielder, no good. Six forty-five on the clock. Zero-zero our score, and we're gonna have a jump ball to start it. Six forty-two on the clock. Again. Six forty. Zach Kruger will bring it up, and we do apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we have no control over the internet at these schools. That's why this is on tape delay. This is not a Summit City Sports issue. Six thirty-one. Zero zero, our score still. SummitCitySports.com. Thank you for joining us. Grinsfielder, he'll get the first bucket for Homestead. That is going to be out of bounds. Another turnover on Carroll. Sloppy start to this contest. Six eighteen. Here's Loomis about to Kruger. Kruger, an outstanding player for head coach Chris Johnson, of course, in his 20th year. 327 wins and 142 losses. Taking on our traveling Marty, head coach Marty Beasley for Carroll. 210 wins and 117 losses in his 14 years. There's Loomis, 10-foot runner, bucket. Tremendous by Trent Loomis. And we're tied, excuse me, four zip. Up early is Homestead looking to play spoiler and get a piece of this conference title. Outside, there's knocked away, but we're going to get a foul on Loomis right in front of head coach Chris Johnson. Well, just about as many issues you can have as a broadcast trying to get a live broadcast in the last game of the conference slate. 5-15. Up top, David Ezra. Under five minutes, four zip. They need this one, can't get it to go. Rebound, David Ezra, big board on the offensive glass. Kicks it back, no good from Ray Vollmer. Richie Gross back to Vollmer. Starting lineup, Gross, Vollmer with Ezra. David Ezra, number 24, excuse me, number 25. Number five, Daniel McKeeman. Number 20, Preston Shear. 
for Homestead. Number 14, Trent Loomis. Number 12, Zach Bratmiller. Number 20, Luke Goody. Number 22, Alec Grinsfielder. And number 12, Zach Bratmiller. Four and a half left. That one is going to be rejected, coming right back out. Luke Goody, no good. He was off in that game this week against Blackhawk Christian. They did get the win, but Luke Goody went down with an ankle injury as well. Looked okay, he rolled it, but seems to be fine now. Midway through this first quarter, got a late start to this game, of course. Had all kinds of senior night with four different programs. And then the champions game in between this game and the JV game. JV game went in double overtime. So we're going to be here quite a bit. 340 left. And what we got? Travel? We got a travel on Grinsfielder down low, 14. So it goes back to the Chargers. Here's Daniel McKeeman looking for the first points. McKeeman second on this team in scoring with 13 points. Just behind David Edge's 16. Here's Gross. Goes Preston Shear. Hands off. Three ball, McKeeman, bucket. Daniel McKeeman gets him on the board. For Carroll, 4-3 four, our score. Kruger. Loomis comes Goody. Brat Miller. Nice hesitation dribble, lost the handle, regains it. Comes back out Zach Kruger. Zach Kruger second on the team in scoring for Homestead. There's another travel and a turnover. Uh, Zach Kruger, the junior, 13 points a game. Just behind Luke Goody, the sophomore, 16 points a game. So Will Smith and Xavier Overstreet are going to check in for Loomis and Grinsfielder. SummitCitySports.com. Here's Richie Gross, he'll bring it over the timeline. What a packed house it is, great atmosphere. Super loud here in the field house, no question about it. And out of bounds, right back to Homestead. So sloppy start to this contest, no doubt about it. Kruger. The blow by, pull up, baseline, no good, rebound, Ezra. Ezra lost the handle and the dribble. Gives it up, Richie Gross, near two minutes left. Nice hang time and the left-handed layup from Richie Gross. The lead for Carroll, 5-4. Gross averaging five a game. It's his first points. Overstreet. Been big this season, the senior. McKeeman with the rebound. One and done that time for Sparty. McKeeman keeps the dribble alive. Can't get it, Benesha with the putback. Benesha running the floor. Puts it up and in. Now the biggest lead is 7-4 for four Carroll. After the 4-0 start, Will Smith, baseline jumper. He can hit that. No good. Good box out. That's number 51, Sam Stricker. Has checked in the game. There's Vollmer. Three. Ezra, what a tough rebound and put back. Can't get it to go, but he is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. See that foul was on. That's the third foul on Homestead and the first on Will Smith. One fourteen. Ezra, first attempt, money. 
They double up the score here on Sparty. Eight for your score. These two, these two teams are going to be in different 4A sectionals. As Homestead will play at the Wayne High School. We'll play at Wayne High School for that sectional. As for, for these Carroll Chargers, they'll go up and play at DeKalb. That's where I will be located at. And as long as we have our Wi-Fi good, I will be there calling each and every sectional game from DeKalb, but it's a loaded sectional there at DeKalb High School. Carroll, Northrop, Snyder, East Noble. That's going to be tremendous. Hesha hits them both, 9-4. He's got four points. Checking in number 15, Ryan Preston. For head coach Marty Peasley. Looking for another SAC crown. In front of a packed house here at the field house. Goody, guarded by Shear. Goody, cut off baseline. Comes back out to Kruger. We're under a minute. Overstreet. Homestead down five. They had a four zip lead to start the game. Kruger gets a screen from Grinsfielder. Pull up. Can't get it to go. Overstreet back to Kruger, 40 seconds. Nice look. And the finish from Grinsfielder. Tremendous stuff. 9 6. McKeeman. We're going to dribble it down here with 20 seconds remaining. SummitCitySports.com. Thank you for joining us. Gross needs help. Finds in the corner. Sheer McKeeman. That's who you want with the ball to end the quarter. As you see, just why McKeeman knocks it in. What a bucket to end the first quarter. Carroll Chargers up 11 6. This is the end of one. You are watching the Summit Athletic Conference right here from SummitCitySports.com. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, Reliable. Simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set for our second quarter of game action. The 7-1 Carroll Chargers playing host to the 6-2. Homestead Spartans. Homestead comes in 17-2 overall. Only two losses, both coming in conference play. One against Northrop, the other against Dwanger. Shear, hands off Shh. to Ryan Preston. Here's McKeeman. Five points in that first quarter. Uh-oh, Vollmer, triple. That's the deep one from the corner. And the biggest lead for Carroll is eight. What a nice last seven minutes here played by the Chargers. They are up by eight points, their biggest lead. Here's Goody, guarded by Vollmer. Goody, the blow by, takes a hit and gets the bucket loop. Goody, outstanding triple drive and the finish and foul. So he'll go to the line for the chance at the three point opportunity. That's his first points, averaging 16 a game. Here's Goody, 
for the N1 opportunity. Drills it. Five-point game. Seven minutes left in this second quarter. Eja double teamed. Kicks it back out to Vollmer. Eja back to Vollmer, same spot. Can't get that one in and out. Outstanding team rebounding by Homestead. That ball hit the hardwood off the board. Goody needs help, finds it in Loomis. Kruger. Comes up top, Brat Miller. Goes Kruger. Goody. Skip pass to Loomis. Three ball from the baseline. No. Rebound, Ezja. Five point lead. They can stretch it here for Carroll. Here's Vollmer. Near in six minutes. McKeeman. Comes Ezja. Ray Fulmer, near five and a half. Goes Richie Gross, guarded by Kruger. They want Edge on the block. Guarded by Grinsfelder. Vollmer, ooh, put Loomis on skates there for a minute, then passed it up. Gross, guarded by Kruger. Oh, that's a travel. Just lost his footing there and a travel. It'll go right back to Sparty. Chance to cut down this five-point deficit. So at the half, it was Dwenger up by two over Northrop. Northrop, the only other seven and one club. They were beat last week by Carroll. That was live on SummitCitySports.com from Northrop High School. But Carroll, if they take care of business here tonight, they will win this conference. And that's going to be a foul on Ezra. Too much contact over the back. Carroll. Under five minutes, five point game. 14 9. Kruger. Goody. Who took a hit? Tough shot. Knocked it down. The sophomore, one of the best in the state. Goody. Now has five points. What a take, Vollmer, and he's going to be fouled by Loomis. Uh, and that will be Trent Loomis's second personal foul. So to the line is Ray Vollmer, number four. The junior averaging four points a game. Vollmer gets a second. He's got four points, 15-11. That one hit by Goody. Once he gets going, he's trouble. Seven points now for Goody. And it's a two-point game here at the field house. 4.05 in this second quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. Here's Vollmer. He's got four points. McKeeman, top of the key three. No, back rim. Comes to Kruger. Looking to push. No numbers. Nice cut off by Vollmer. Skip pass to Loomis. Extra pass. Brat Miller right back Loomis. Kruger, top of the key three, back rim no good. Nice tough rebound by Preston Shear. Uh, that's going to be a foul on Grinsfelder. That'll be his first, team's fifth, I believe. It is. 
Been a well-officiated first half here at Carroll High School. Here's McKeeman. It's a screen from Ezra. Preston Shear on the wing, guarded by Goody. Richie Gross picked up the dribble, needs help, finds it in Shear. Ezra wants it up the top. He can hit threes, but rather play down low. Vollmer is going to get a screen from Ezra. Ezra. There's a slip by Ezra. Gross. Look for space blocked by Luke Goody. Tremendous block on the help defense. Goody, a little inside out dribble with the left hand. Overstreet knocked away from behind. Tremendous job. And the breakaway for Vollmer. Nice stop and pop for Ray Vollmer. We got a four point game. Vollmer with six points. Ezra with the board. 17-13. Carroll's biggest lead was eight. In that first quarter. Just up four. And out of bounds. Right back to Homestead. Chance to cut into this four-point deficit. Here's Kruger. They get a switch. That's exactly what they wanted. And Fulmer, excuse me, Gross has to foul. Grinsfelder. Grinsfelder will go to the line. That was executed perfect. They got the switch on the screen. Grinsfelder went right into the post. Sealed up on his defender. And happened to pick up the fouls. Richie Gross, his first. And the team's fourth. Back rim, no good. Grinsfelder. Averaging just under seven a game and five boards a contest, the junior. Does convert on the second. We got a one possession game. It's a three point lead for Carroll. McKeeman, nice pop out by Goody. Took the contact. Ooh, traveled. Looked like he came to a jump stop, must have shuffled that pivot. And the travel, we go back to Homestead. They could tie it up with a triple or cut it to a one-point deficit. 150 on the clock. Kruger. Here's Kruger. Goes to Overstreet. Rat Miller from deep. Ezra came out and bothered it. And another... Over the back call, too much contact. This one's going to be on Grinsfelder, his second. And the team six went away from the bonus. So we stay 17-14, and Will Smith's going to check in. One thirty-six. Preston Shear. McKeeman. There's a nice little hedge by Will Smith just to slow down McKeeman, or he's about to pop it. 110, Ezra. Turn around. That may have been partially blocked by Kruger. Knocked away. Here's Brett Miller. Ezra wanted to foul. Goody. Overstreet. Tough catch. That was a short stop. Short hop grounder that Overstreet just picked up and then nails the triple. We're tied up at 17s, kids. Overstreet. McKeeman. Gross. Tied at 17s. Low scoring game. Homer comes McKeeman, 25 seconds. Obviously holding for a last shot to go into the halftime break. And what we got? Oh, that's a travel. Go oh, the travel way out by the timeline. So Holmes said we'll get a chance. 
to take the lead going into the break. Brett Miller, he'll look to inbound. Kruger, 15 seconds. Kruger letting it bounce. This kid loves to end quarters. Can't get it. And knocked away. So that will be our halftime score. Your score, 17-17. We'll take a break. You are watching the Summit Athletic Conference right here from SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. It may be winter, but it's never too early to start thinking about spring. 
Start your new year sharp and trust Kurt's Mio to power wash your home. Fair prices, superior quality, and exceptional customer service. Schedule your spring special appointment today. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code SUMMITCITY for 15% off today. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com. Coming from the field house, still five and a half minutes left. Extended halftime with all the festivities here at the field house. So we'll take a break, Summit City Sports. Jaka! When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 Comments from the This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent, our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable, buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group, simple, transparent, reliable. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ant in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, 
business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. It may be winter, but it's never too early to start thinking about spring. Start your new year sharp and trust Kurt's Meal to power wash your home. Fair prices, superior quality, and exceptional customer service. Schedule your spring special appointment today. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code SUMMITCITY for 15% off today. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com as we get set for the start of our second half. Got about a minute and a half remaining. Here at the Fieldhouse. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Leading scorer for the Homestead Spartans was Luke Goody. He had 17. That was a game high as well for Carroll. It was number four. Ray Vollmer with six big points. More balanced scoring for Carroll. But just a minute left here as we get set. Of course, if Carroll wins this matchup, they will win the SAC if they do not. And Homestead wins right now. Northrop is being beaten, is down to Bishop Twiger to start that fourth quarter by a couple of points. They have 41 39 to start the fourth. So if Northrop falls, if Homestead wins, we got ourselves a three way tie for the Summit Athletic Conference between Homestead, Carroll, and Northrop. But Carroll right now owns, has their destiny in their hands. What will they do? Who's going to step up? Will it be Homestead? Will it be Carroll? We will find out here in the next 16 minutes of game action. Here at SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are ready. No timeouts called in that first half by either head coach, whether it be Chris Johnson or Marty Beasley. Boy, do they know a lot about each other. Been matching off for the past 14 years. Head coach Chris Johnson in his 20th and Marty Beasley in his 14th. Kruger loves that 17-foot jumper. And you see why right there, the bucket to start it for Zach Kruger. Kid can pull up, stop on a dime. And he hits nicely. So Kruger, that is his first points of the game. You don't see that very often. Baseline cut off by Brat Miller on McKeeman. Two point game. Hands to McKeeman. Now out wide to Vollmer. Nice look to Preston Shear. Nice help by Grinsfelder. That a hard foul as Preston Shear is knocked while he was in the air. And it's going to stay at this end. That's going to be a foul on Alec Grinsfelder. That's his third, team's first. 
It's a big call right there. Yeah, he's got to see if head coach Chris Johnson's going to go to Will Smith. He is. The big fella, the senior, is going to check in. Vollmer has had a nice game. Leads his team in scoring with five. And that one out of bounds. Last touch by Sparty. So McKeema will baseline inbound. Brett Miller guarded. Here's Preston Shear. Look at the swing. They wanted McKeem and a set Esha. Nice use of the pivot. Puts it up and in, and we are tied back up. Esha now with six. Kruger. Comes up top, Smith. Kruger, six minutes left in this third quarter. Tied at 19s. Goody, shuck free for a three. Still can't get it to go. Rebound, Ezra. Goes up strong with two hands. No doubting who's going to come down with that board. Here's Ezra. He's going to hand to Richie Gross. Gross guarded by Kruger. On the wing, Volmer, baseline. Picked up the dribble, goes back McKeeman. McKeeman, behind the back, pull up on Brett Miller. Couldn't get it to go. Nice box out. By Will Smith. And Trent Loomis comes with the rebound. Here's Goody. The back cut by Kruger. Opened up. That was beautifully done by Homestead. A little secondary transition put in by Zach Kruger. He's got four. David Eja can't get the three. Rebound Loomis. 21-19. Luke Goody, keeping the dribble live, crossover, that was low. Takes a hit, can't get it to go, rebound gets deflected to David Eja. McKeeman, dribble handoff, Gross, now Eja. In the corner, Vollmer, and that's going to be a foul on Loomis, good call, baseline. He didn't get that right foot quick enough to the baseline to cut that off. That's going to be a foul, and the third on Loomis. So three on Loomis, three on Grinsfelder. And two on the team. That one's blocked, but a foul on Smith. That will send Richie Gross to the line to shoot a pair. Gross with two points. It was a 17-17 halftime score. Gross hits the first. One point game, 21 20. Gross, second attempt. Converts on both. We're tied back up. Been a handful of ties and lead changes through the first two and a half quarters. Right here from the Carroll Fieldhouse. Goody wants it, does get it. Smith. Comes to Luke Goody. The pull up, three, wide right, that one. Luke Goody saying it was tip. Officials saying no, and out of bounds it goes, 417. So Luke Goody off with the jumper a little bit here tonight. Suck with seven points. That's what he had at halftime. Daniel McKeeman. <laughs> Stricker just checked into the game, the sophomore, the big fella, looking for Ezra. Needs help, finds it in Ray Vollmer. Midway through, Vollmer, gonna keep it, now go Gross. Stricker to Vollmer, they're looking for McKeeman off a couple of screens. Ezra, he needs to touch that ball on the block. He had Goody on his backside. Tough, Gross can't get it. Nice box out by Loomis. Stricker just rips it away. Double clutch and a lay in. Sam Strecker showing you some skills. The sophomore.
Brett Miller, excuse me, Kruger comes to Lewis, Loomis. Now Brett Miller has Kruger wide open on the wing. Two went out with them. Goody, set back, triple. Front rim, double, no good. Loomis knocks it. Ooh, and they're going to call a foul on Carroll. That is a tough, tough call. That was on the player that had the inside position. The Carroll fans obviously not liking it. Up by two. Preston Shear's going to check in for Ezra. So on the floor for Homestead, Brat Miller, Smith, Kruger, Goody, and Overstreet. For Carroll. Stricker, Shear, Gross, McKeeman, and Vollmer. Here in three minutes, two point game. Zach Kruger comes back up top, Overstreet. Just three seniors on this roster with Overstreet, Loomis, and Grinsfelder. Kruger, baseline, cut off, nice double team, Overstreet, good ball fake, went wide and Try to lay it off to Goody, and that is deflected right back off of Overstreet. I'd like to see him just take that ball up and shoot it. A little un too unselfish there, I guess. 2.35. McKeeman. And we got a whistle. Traveling. About a well officiated game, if I do say so myself, here tonight, here in the field house, with the championship on the line. Brat Miller. That touched every part of the rim and falls down for Homestead. Will Smith ties it up at 23s. And we got a timeout called by head coach Marty Beasley. This is SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Parkview Sports Medicine. It is game on. We're the region's largest integrated sports medicine team, providing athletes specialized services from improving their performance to recovering from injuries. To learn more, go to ParkviewSportsMedicine.com. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 premium vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. The world is waiting for you to make a difference in a way that only you can. Discover your strengths at Indiana Wesleyan Residential Campus in Marion, Indiana. Visit I-N-D-W-E-S dot E-D-U. Big Eye Fish has been around the Northeast Indian area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. In a family-friendly environment at the Big Eye Fish. University of St. Francis offers 100% job employment and select programs and 100% pass rates on many licensure exams. With over 2,300 students, the main campus is located in the heart of Fort Wayne. Visit sf.edu. So we're back to it. As Chris Johnson's explaining that he thought it was a full timeout. Obviously, it was just a 32nd. That's where the confusion is. Two minutes left in this third. Tied up at 23s. Late start to this game. We had the JV game going to double overtime. Then we had senior night announcements. And then the champions game. Look for a stricker. That one last touched by Homestead. These officials have been on it. One forty four. It got it to go and and one coming for Daniel McKeeman. Tremendous stuff from McKeeman. That's the first on Brat Miller and the fourth on Homestead. McKeeman now with seven. The and one opportunity for Daniel McKeeman, second on the team in scoring with 13 points of contest. Back rim, no good. He's going to stay with seven. Rebound by Overstreet.
Brett Miller. Kruger, and what hustle. Richie Gross, he hit the floor and tried to flush it somehow. Got it up and in for Eja. Yeah, we got a four point lead. Eja with eight points. Somehow, Asia, Asia avoided the travel. Oh, Xavier Overstreet. He's hit some huge triples over the past couple of weeks. That was a big one. Overstreet. Now with six points on two, three balls. McKeeman to answer. Back rim, no good. Rebound over Street. Keeps it in. And Gross gets to the floor once again. And we're going to have a jump ball. No, they're going to get a foul on Zach Brettmiller. Saying he came into the pile too hard, I guess too heavy. Came in there with some aggression, but the official's not liking it at all. And if you're at Homestead, you just got to walk, walk away from the officials. The officials are going to talk about it here. So we're going to stay right here. SummitCitySports.com, thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260sports. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves. And trust Kurt's meal to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete ceiling deck and fence cleaning driveway replacement and stamp concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com. Request your virtual quote. Use the code Summit City for 15% off all your power washing services today. So it will be a foul on Zach Brett Miller. That's his second and the team's fifth. Just under 43 seconds left in this third. Back and forth battle we have seen. It's a one point game now. So, well, they're gonna call it a flagrant foul. So that'll be a flagrant foul. That's a tough call against Brett Miller and McKeeman converts. Two point game, he'll get a second attempt. Keeman now with eight. And in and out. Can't get the second one. Two-point game. 42 seconds left. It'll stay. With Carroll. And they'll look to inbound. So back to the action. Needs help. Vollmer, that was knocked away by Overstreet. And then Kruger with the foul. That's going to be the sixth team foul on Homestead. <laughs> McKeeman inbounds to Shear. He'll pull it back out. Goes to Ray Vollmer. And that's going to be a foul on Overstreet. That's the seventh team foul. And Carroll will be shooting free throws here. It's going to be a one of one for Ray Vollmer. The squad up by two. Hits the front end. Ballmer will get a second one. Ray Vollmer. Seven points now for the junior. Hits them both. <laughs> Biggest lead of the second half for either squad is four. And Carroll with the lead. Northrop was down five about midway through that fourth quarter at Dwenger. <laughs> Excuse me. But it will not matter if Carroll can win. There's Zach Kruger, of course, to end a quarter, as he loves to do with buckets. That's six points now for Kruger, all coming in the third quarter. 
Sat down. That's going to be a good end to the contest. 30-28, our score. You are watching the Summit Athletic Conference from SummitCitySports.com. Family Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration. We are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Start to of our fourth quarter right now. 30-28, Carroll up by two. Looking for Eja on the block. Double team comes. Nice look to Vollmer, tried to fit it into Shear. Couldn't get it. Goody picked it up. Comes Ratmiller. Back to Goody. Good look to Loomis down low with the left hand. We're tied back up. Seven and a half left. Update from Bishop Dwanger, 57-49. Dwanger on top with two minutes left. So that would open the door for Homestead to get a piece of the crown. But they got a win here against Carroll. Got it! Ray Vollmer having an outstanding game. He has 11, leads all scorers. Got five in this quarter. Grinsfielder, tough catch. Trying to get it back out to Kruger, then a foul on Carroll. Also, Snyder down losing to Southside by 11 with five minutes to go in the game. That's a big one there. It'll be a huge win for South. Brat Miller didn't want to take it up over Eja. Here's Goody. Good no call. Looked like it was going to be a no call or a charge. Right there, Luke Goody. Instead of that last dribble, just pull up from 8 to 10 feet. Hit that jumper. We're under seven minutes. Six and a half. It's been a man-to-man -man defense being played by both squads all game long. Just matching up on each other here in this rivalry game. McKeeman. Patience here from Carroll. No shot clock in the state of Indiana. Look for Ezra. Somehow gets to it. Ezra didn't have a dribble. Here's Ray Vollmer. Dribble handoff to Gross. Shear at the left elbow. Handoff McKeeman. Goody came back and swatted it. Tremendous block. Out on the break. Goody swiped away by McKeeman. But steps out of bounds. So we'll say at that end. Homestead down by three. 542 left. Blocked by Esha. Ooh, there's a foul. Is that going to be on Shear? Yes, it's on Preston Shear, not on Esha. That's Shear's second and the third on the team. Gritzfelder can't get the first.
does convert on the second. It's a two-point game. Five and a half left. McKeeman, now Ezra. Double team from Loomis is going to come. No, it never did. Forced it up. No good. Rebound by Goody. Goody wants to push it. Thought about it. Goes Loomis. 5-10 left. Kruger down low. Grinsfelder back to Kruger. Steps into a three. Couldn't get it halfway down. And that would have been a lead for Sparty. Back to Carroll now. Vollmer, tremendous game. He's got 11 points leading all teams. And as he's falling out of bounds, tosses it. Off of a Spartan player. So we'll stay at that end. Two-point game. Stricker. And just off the hands of McKeeman. Right back to Homestead. They can take the lead with the three or tied up with a two. And we got a whistle. Timeout called by head coach Marty Beasley. A full timeout, so we'll take one with them here. You are watching Summit Athletic Conference from SummitCitySports.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 4.43 left in this contest. SummitCitySports.com. 33-31. It's been a great atmosphere here at Carroll, no question about it, here in the field house. It is a packed gymnasium. Watching a little bit of Indiana High School basketball. Here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, home of SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kruger. Going to inbound. So it does look like Northrop's going to get beat by Dwanger. So that opens the door for Homestead. They, if they beat Carroll here tonight, they will... Make a three-way tie for the SAC. Goody, three ball. Couldn't get it. Big rebound, Grinsfelder. Goody, skip pass. Brett Miller, one-touch pass to Kruger. Back to Brett Miller. Can't get the three. And another offensive rebound by Grinsfelder. What hustle. No, oh, that is a final. Bishop Dwanger winning 62-49. Over Northrop, giving Northrop their second defeat. And a timeout by Homestead. We'll take a quick one with them here, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. I mean, I always had my family behind me. I always had my team behind me. But to have staff that wanted the best for me and to get me feeling better the quickest was really reassuring. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. It may be winter, but it's never too early to start thinking about spring. Start your new year sharp and trust Kurt's Mio to power wash your home. Fair prices, superior quality, and exceptional customer service. Schedule your spring special appointment today. Additional services include concrete ceiling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Four minutes left in this ball game. SummitCitySports.com, Tim Atkinson here. Goody, out of the Homestead timeout goes Brat Miller.
Goody. Just seven points. He has not scored in this second half. Ratmiller from way deep. No good. And Grinsfelder. Dang, he was over the back. Looks like a lot of contact. That's like his fourth offensive rebound in the two last two possessions. So that will be the fourth team foul on Carroll and the third on Shearer. Grinsfelder gets to the cup. What an effort here by the junior. Averaging seven points and five boards a game. He has six and looking to make it eight with two free throws. It's going to stay a two-point game. Back rim, no good. Missed them both. Rebound, Asia. Three and a half minutes. And another timeout. Call by head coach Marty Beasley. We'll take a break. Summit City Sports. Dot com. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration. We are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd on their feet. Our student section on their feet as we are set. 3.20 left. Two-point game. Carroll up and with the ball. If they win, they take the SAC Conference. If Homestead wins, it'll be a three-way tie with Carroll, Homestead, and Northrop. Also, Snyder going down at Southside. About a 13-point deficit. Richie Gross. Lost his footing, regains it. Comes Ray Vollmer. Vollmer leading all scorers with 11. Needs help. What a steal by Kruger. And then a foul. I believe this is going to go on Richie Gross. And that will be the seventh, the seventh team foul. Check it, sixth team foul on oh, Carroll. Went away from the bonus. So they'll inbound. Brett Miller. Kruger gets the switch. Got to get the ball down to Grinsfelder. Has Gross on him. Grinsfelder asking for it. Here's Brett Miller. Got to get the ball right there. He was. Seg comes to Kruger. Brett Miller. Luke Goody hasn't touched it in this set yet. There we go, Grinsfelder. Skip pass, Kruger, touch pass, Goody. Three ball, Goody, short. Rebound, Gross. And McKeeman comes up with that two-point game. McKeeman hands to Gross. Guarded by Kruger. They're going to reverse rolls. 145. And Loomis is going to get hit with the foul. That'll be the ninth team foul. And the fourth on Trent Loomis. 
So we'll go to the line for a one and one for Ray Vollmer, leading his club with 11 points. As Coach Johnson's going to take a timeout for Homestead. And a full timeout, we'll take it with the mayor as we wind down this contest. 33-31, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I so they changed that to a 30 second timeout Instead of a full timeout, so abruptly we're back to you. 138. Ray Vollmer, front end of a one and one. Back rim, no good. Look at Edge. Uh, lost his footing, though. Lots of contact, no call. Here's Kruger. Goody. Felt Edge coming. Brat Miller goes over street. Now Kruger. They got a mismatch down low with Grinsfelder. And McKeeman. They switch back, does Edge. Overstreet, 110 remaining. Brett Miller, two point game, Goody. Kruger, no shot clock in the state of Indiana. Don't forget we have sectionals starting in two weeks. As I'll be at DeKalb for that 4A sex, whoa! Blocked, Brett Miller gets it, no good. Grinsfelder with another offensive board. Overstreet for the lead, got it! Savior Overstreet with the three ball and the timeout by head coach Chris Johnson. Homestead with the lead, 43.4. Don't go anywhere. SummitCitySports.com. Runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 43 seconds left. Right now, Carroll down by one. 19 fouls against Homestead. Six on Carroll. Well, it's going to come down right to this. If Carroll wins this game, they win the SAC. If Homestead wins due to a Northrop loss, it'll be a three-way tie. We'll have tri-champs from between Carroll, Homestead, and Northrop. 35 seconds. McKeeman, baseline. Extra pass to Vollmer. Ezra. Ezra, good power dribble. And then a foul on Grinsfelder with 24 seconds left. The fourth on Grinsfelder, and the tenth on the team. Here it is, David Ezra can take the lead with two makes, 34-33. Ezra, just one rebounder in the lane for Carroll. That's Preston Shear. Ezra, first of two, can't get it. One point lead, it stays for Homestead. Right here's for the tie. 
Eja. Eight points on the game. But none would be bigger than this one here to tie it up. David Eja, the senior, gets the roll. Tied at 34. 20 seconds. Uh-oh, Zach Kruger and Luke Goody, both known for their end of quarter dynamics. Let's see what happens. Kruger, six seconds. Kruger, the pull up. Bucket! Point one second left. Kruger nails it. Are you kidding me? Zach Kruger. They'll put some time back on the clock, I believe. Full timeout. Called by Carroll. Two point game. And they're gonna put 1.2 back on the clock. My goodness. Tremendous stuff here in the field house. One point two left. Summit City Sports.com. Coming to you from the field house. Two point game. Biggest three pointer for Kruger. Boy, did that go down when he needed it. Wow, what a game we have seen. That's eight points now for Kruger. But leading the way for the team is Xavier Overstreet with nine. Thirty-six, thirty-four, one point two left. Carroll's got to go to the full length of the court. So, all comes down to this. And we're going to have another timeout, I believe. Homestead's going to take their second to last timeout. So both clubs with one timeout apiece. As we set up for the last second of this ball game, right here from the field house, Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Next week, we have a loaded schedule in the last week of the regular season here in Indiana High School boys basketball. Tuesday, Blackhawk Christian at Southside. Wednesday, I'll be at, the, at Spies for the middle school championship of the city tournament. Then it will be Thursday, Blackhawk Christian, excuse me, Northrop at Blackhawk Christian. And then Friday, Marion at Snyder. Uh, that will finish our regular season action of coverage here from SummitCitySports.com. So 1.2 left. It's the ball game. Carroll's got to go the length of the court. Sheer to inbound. High pass. And that's going to go directly out of bounds. So Homestead will get to inbound down at that baseline. That should about do it. Just got to get the ball in bounds if you're Homestead. But what a win. Would be a three-way share of the SAC as Loomis is fouled. Point four left. But that should do it. Carroll missed opportunity. Homestead comes in big. Of course, had to get that win from Northrop. Or excuse me, that win from Dwenger over Northrop that set this up. And Homestead, looking like they're going to get the win. And it's going to be a three-way tie here in the SAC as Loomis converts three-point game. 0.8 seconds left. 11 points for Vollmer, nine for Overstreet. And Loomis can't get that one to go. And that will do it. Congratulations. Homestead comes up with the big win as they celebrate, as they take a piece of the SAC Conference title. What a game we saw here. 
Wow, we'll sign off here. But what a win and a night of high school basketball. Thank you for joining us. You have been watching the SAC from SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash orthoexpress. It's the comments. Comments falling from the sky. 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 Comments this is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent, our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable, buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group, simple, transparent, reliable. Get mad about Blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... Uh... Go to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about Blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting me up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. It may be winter, but it's never too early to start thinking about spring. Start your new year sharp and trust Kurt's Meal to power wash your home. Fair prices, superior quality, and exceptional customer service. Schedule your spring special appointment today. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code SUMMITCITY for 15% off today. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game, to the victory celebration, 
We are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business. It's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports. Become a sponsor. Join our winning team today.